Seemed to be a particularly gassy baby. I think it was just because he was so greedy. He was very insistent from the get go. We suspect he was probably anywhere between three and four months. He would still be with his mom for a good six to eight months. As strong as he was, you could see he was scared. It's this very trusting, despite this horrible trauma that he had gone through. There's pangolin coming off their legal trade. Pangolins are the most illegally trafficked mammals in the world. We do intelligence operations, retrieving them from the illegal wildlife trade. When I put my hands on the head, that's the signal to take them down. I've had eyes on the animal. It's confirmed. It is downright scary. The evening before, you can't sleep, you can't eat, you're nauseous. That particular operation took two and a half hours for me to convince the suspect to show me the pangolin. These scales are used in cultural medicines in Asia, in particular China. Stevie was named after one of my team members that's been so loyal. It's quite a personal thing for me and very emotional to know that he's doing fantastic. The second or third day of us having him, I actually took him out for a walk. Penguins will ride on their mom's backs for quite a long time. Yeah, he adapted to that pose very well. He did love it quite a lot. It was always very easy to try experience new things and to be exposed to new things. And I put him into a termite mound and he spent nearly 45, 50 minutes in that termite mound just feeding. Great to know that he drive and that instinct to do what he needs to do naturally was there. At some point during the walk, you would experience a bit of Stevie playtime. That for me was also a huge sign that he was getting comfortable. For some reason, he took to rocks. He even used to have a rock that stayed in his little overnight carrier in case he wanted to play. He started to feed so much stronger. He started to eat so much better kind of started to do that himself. It's a very subtle thing. I took him down to where he's doing his soft release process. He just hit the ground running and he was ready to be a pangolin. I think him accepting me as his carer, it's a privilege that I can never really describe. I'm going to be forever grateful.